Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Man Cave Meals. I was at the grocery store the other day and I found a really nice looking piece of pork belly on sale for a bargain. So I bought it, I've cut it into two pieces and we're gonna use one really nice segment of that to make some home cured bacon. So if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please do click the bell so you can get alerts when I post new videos and let's get started. When you want to home cure meats, there's a couple of ingredients that are quite important. And we're going to cure this bacon this way. And I'm going to give you all of the ingredients quantities for what I'm doing in the video description. But your basic cure consists of sugar, salt, and this pink curing salt. Uh, this stuff is uh, commonly called prog powder number one. You might see it in other formats, but this is... There's two versions of this. There's a prog powder number two as well, which you do not want to use in this process. So let's keep moving. So here's our piece of pork belly that I have acquired for this project. This is a, about, this is half of the piece I got and it's got some beautiful meat on it. And this piece weighs about three pounds. And I'm gonna put a slide up here on the screen that shows you how I figure how much cure is going to be used here. The process is real simple with this curing rub recipe and this guys is a homemade version of Morton Tender Quick. If you can get Tender Quick, you can feel free to use that here. So you want to have two and a half percent of your meat's weight and cure. So simply spoken, that comes out to 25 grams of cure for one kilogram of meat. So I have already mixed up my cure. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just shake this on here and we're gonna use all of it. I've made up just exactly how much I need here for this. So I'm gonna put that on there and I'm gonna pat it in and I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes so it can adhere before we flip it. And once that's had a moment to stick, it just takes it a few minutes. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna put the rest of my curing salt uh, mixture on top. And I'm gonna use every bit of what I made here. I made just the perfect amount for this, which was right at 37 grams of this. You don't have to worry about having this spread perfectly evenly. You just wanna make sure that you use all of it. So we're gonna let that sit for a moment and then I'm gonna put this in a vacuum seal bag. So I've put mine in a vacuum seal bag and we're just gonna toss this back in the refrigerator. And guys, for pork belly, you can pretty much just go with seven days on this process. Uh, seven days will be enough to cure this and it won't uh, make any difference one way or the other. And if you need to go a few days longer, like if you needed to go nine days, it would be okay. And it's most likely gonna be okay after five to six days. So you can play with that. Seven days is just a good figure. If you don't have a vacuum sealer, Put this in a Ziploc bag and, and use the sink method for getting as much of the air out as you can. What you do is you fill your sink up with water and then you just dip the bag into the water and let the water displace the air with a little bit of an opening at the top. And when it gets down, you just close that up. And every, every day or so when you open your refrigerator, just take this package out and just kind of massage the liquid. You'll see liquid starting to form in this just after a few hours and you just want that liquid to keep making contact with this meat for the entire process. So we're going to cure this and I'll see you again in seven days. We are six days into our cure which is fine for what we're going to do next. As you can see this uh, this pork belly is darkened up uh, a good bit taking on some color from the curing salt. So the next step I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take this out of the vacuum seal bag, I'm gonna thoroughly rinse it off, and then we're gonna season it. Okay, I've rinsed this thing off and I've patted it dry, and I have made a seasoning blend here that's this, something similar to what I might use on pastrami, which is basically a one-to-one uh, -one mixture 
of freshly ground or cracked coriander and black pepper and I've also put in some um, granulated garlic maybe I might have those at about one to one to one for each of those ingredients but guys you can season this bacon on the outside with anything you like uh, you know you can use your favorite barbecue rub you can use salt and pepper uh, you can use whatever you like but I'm just gonna flip that over and then I'm gonna hit the top side one thing you don't want to do here is add any kind of seasoning that's got any salt in it because you've got enough salt on this as is with the cure so what I'm gonna do is let this sit here for just a few minutes and uh, then we're gonna put that back in another vacuum seal bag for another 24 hours <laughs> And now we have that in another nice tight vacuum seal. We're going to put it back in the refrigerator and let it ride for at least uh, eight hours. But I'm going to be going about 24. I've got two of my pellet cold smokers lit. And I'm going to put these down on the lower rack down here off to the side. And then I'm going to get our pork belly out and put it on the opposite side of the grill. And I'm going to keep both of these smokers going all day. Alright, I've taken the bacon out, or our cured pork belly, and we're just going to set it over here on the right side of the grill. And I'm going to close this up, and we're just going to let this thing smoke all day, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 12 hours. Guys, we're about 8 hours into this, and I'm pretty happy with the smoke I've got on this bacon. This is looking perfect in my opinion. That's looking really nice. So I'm gonna pull this out and what's gonna happen next is I'm just gonna set this tray in the refrigerator as is and let this bacon cool down. It's not very hot. It's never gotten up over about 110 degrees inside the grill. So let's chill it. And now we're just going to vacuum seal this guy and we'll take this out and I'm going to put that back in the refrigerator for a day or two to let that smoke flavor mature. So I let this bacon mature in the vacuum seal bag in the refrigerator for a few days. So what I'm going to do is we're going to slice into this thing. I wish you could have smelled the smoke aroma on this when I cut this open, but guys, have a look at that. That, uh, that looks really good. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut, actually, I'm gonna trim this the other direction as well, and I'm gonna save these pieces. But what I like to do is I like to trim up the edges where, you know, we have, have that kind of texture. And I save these, these pieces to dice and, uh, that's one of the things I like to do with this kind of homemade bacon is dice it instead of slice it. So we're going to do some of both. So let's have a look at that. So I've warmed up a pan and we're going to put a few slices in here and cook this and it's going to be amazing. So we'll be back when I'm ready to flip that. Okay, these guys are ready for a, a quick flip. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. This stuff smells off the hook. That seasoning blend that I put on there is really getting the job done. So we're going to let this cook for just a couple of more minutes. Okay, guys, that's looking pretty awesome. So I'm going to turn the heat off. I'm going to get this off and let that cool for just a moment. And then, of course, we're going to have a taste. Okay, we're ready to uh, evaluate the homemade bacon. man that's fantastic guys that's top notch you can't buy bacon like that you just can't it's perfect everything about this is perfect homemade bacon like this is a little different than what you buy in the grocery store <laughs> there's i don't know how to really compare 
the two until you have the opportunity to try some that you've made yourself. So guys, let me know what you think. Have you done this before? If you have, leave me a comment. Tell me how you do yours. Uh, would you do it differently? Let me know. Uh, I'm open to suggestions because I've got more pork belly and we're going to do some more of this. So guys, until next time, this is John Setzler with Man Cave Meals.